We ain't even got to go get them today. They're already on this side of the farm, boys. All we got to do is just pour it in. Let's pull that in over in the shade. Welcome back everybody. We're over here at the menu, meal plan. I'm trying to decide what I want to make for supper. Me and Cece are about to go to town real quick. I just got finished cleaning up some and we're gonna go, she wants to go see if we can find some boiled peanuts. She loves boiled peanuts. <laughs> so I need to run to the dollar store and while we're out, we're gonna see if we can find any boiled peanut stands open. But I was looking right here, trying to decide what I wanna make for supper. I'm thinking patty melts tonight. That'll be something easy. And I can cook them on the Blackstone and I'll get some chips while we're out to go with them. Yeah, patty melts. Cece made some more of her prize winning pumpkin cookies, pumpkin sugar cookies this afternoon too. All right, let's go. While we're out looking for boiled peanuts, we're also going to the car wash. We found them, y'all. We went by one boiled peanut stand. They were already shut down for the day. If you're ever in the South looking for boiled peanuts, you can find them on the weekends. Sometimes Fridays too, but definitely Saturdays and Sundays. You just look for the smoke. That's all you gotta do. Look for the smoke coming out of a big black thing that looks almost like a trash can, but it's not. It's a boiled peanut stand. <laughs> Okay y'all, so we got the boiled peanuts and we got some muscadines or scumpernongs, whatever you call them. They are really good, but it's like, you either love muscadines or you don't because they are kind of, they're really sweet, but the skin of them is very, very thick. So they, they look like a big grape, but the skin is very, very thick. They have a seed in the middle. I think this bag had some of the boiled peanut stuff in it and he just dumped the basket of the muscadines into here because I guess they want to keep their baskets, so. <laughs> It was so funny. First of all, we asked about the boiled peanuts, and then the one of the men there was like, here, y'all want to try some? So then they handed us some boiled peanuts in our hand, and then when we asked about the muscadines, they were like, here, try some. And muscadines, if you know about them, when you bite into them, juice is going to go everywhere. So you just might as well put the whole muscadine in your mouth, but I didn't. And when I bit mine, juice shot out everywhere. And at the same time, Sissy was like, because she didn't like it. She thought it was like a grape. And now I'm all sticky from muscadine juice. Anyway, now we're here at Dollar General. Yeah. Did they just dump yours into the bag too? Uh, no. Oh, they're inside of another bag. They're in one bag inside this bag. That's the way you do it. Usually you get them in a brown paper sack. They must have been out. Here we go. Everybody close your eyes. There's already Christmas stuff out. Look at Bob and Sally. What y'all doing here? Fall on one side, Christmas on the other. Close your eyes again. <laughs> So we went into Ingles real quick because I just wanted to go ahead and get some ground beef that wasn't frozen because all that I have here is frozen and I would have had to defrost it. And then 
make the patties for the patty melt. So I just went in there to get some real quick. I also got some more bread because we used some of that butter bread for garlic bread the night we had the stuffed shells casserole. That butter bread makes really good, like it's really good for the patty melts or of course Texas toast. They didn't have any Texas toast. So I got this Italian bread. I think we've used this before for patty melts. And they had the Beach Plum LaCroix. This is hard to find around here. You don't see it all the time. It's one of my favorite sparkling water flavors. So we got that. And Lay's chips were on sale. Buy one, get one free or two for four something. I can't remember exactly what the sale was, but we got sour cream and onion and Southern, sweet Southern heat barbecue. Cece told me we were out of noodles and this is one of their favorite things to have for lunch. So we got those. So that was it from Ingles. But y'all, when we were putting this stuff in the back, I saw Titus's little Italian cream cake. Bless his heart. He got this at the farmer's market and he tried an Italian cream cake somewhere a long time ago. So when he saw this, he was really excited and he got it, but it got left in the back of the van yesterday. I'm sure it's still fine. The icing is a little melted, but it's fine. And then of course, from the produce stand, the boiled peanuts and muscadines. I'm gonna go ahead and wash these real quick. The vacuum accidentally grabbed the bag at the car wash and smooshed some of them. I'm thinking I might make some muscadine jelly. It's It's got a really weird taste and it's hard to explain. I'm fixing to make my patties, but I wanna tell y'all about these. It's hard to explain there. I tasted one again to try to better give y'all the words for how they are. The peeling is kind of sour, just a little bit. They're kind of slimy on the inside too, and I think that's something that people don't really like about them. So you could take the peeling off and just eat the inside, and there's the little seed. You wanna try just the inside? <laughs> the outside is the part that's like, what? We hear you, Roosty. I'm just gonna go ahead and make these patties thin instead of smashing them on the black stone. So I got those chips, but I also remembered that I have lots of shredded hash browns in the freezer. So I'm gonna make some shredded hash browns to go with these too, but not all the kids like shredded hash browns. They'd rather have chips, so we'll have both. putting a little butter on this side. This is where we're gonna cook the hash browns. We're gonna cook the patties over there. This has uh, unintentionally become like my bread, potato, egg side over here. I have used this black stone more than Titus has. I really love it. So we're gonna go ahead and get the hash browns started because they take a little bit longer to cook than the patties will. But yeah, I still cook meat on this side. I just always end up putting the bread and things over here, especially if I'm doing you know, breakfast all at one time, or like even tonight, hash browns and the hamburger patties all at one time. I have, let's see, I think I can fit this other little thing of hash browns right over here. Sissy's getting the bread ready. She put us on some Christmas music. Mm -hmm. That Christmas stuff in the dollar store got us in the holiday spirit. Tyler doesn't like his toasted, so me, you, daddy, yeah, we'll have to do Bubba's. He likes his toasted too. I'm a painter. Mm -hmm. Over here now, we're gonna put some onions on this side, and then what was smelling good started smelling great. Mama, let's go. 